Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to discuss Hugh Hudson's Chariots of Fire from 1981. It's a biographical movie about uh, two runners back in the 1920s, um, Eric Little and Harold uh, Abrahams, um, who both were uh, runners from Great Britain who sort of had a um, a competition between each other, but also both fight, have had a goal to uh, to come into the Olympics in uh, 1924. And um, it's 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 yes, it's based on a true story, and uh, and we follow both uh, runners' perspective uh, through the movie. Uh, my experience with uh, Chariots of Fire is a fun one. I, I, um, when I was eight years old, I was very much into the Olympics and I thought that was really fun. Uh, and I was kind of obsessed by uh, sports in general. And then my parents said, then I have to watch uh, Chariots of Fire because that's a damn good movie. And um, so I did and uh, I was completely blown away as a child by it. So, so this was really like my introduction to real life drama and I was so obsessed by it. I watched it very, very often as a child and as you can see it's, it has this really uh, old DVD cover of it and I haven't got a Blu-ray of it yet so I have to get that one day. Um, but here on the other, from two days ago I decided I have to rewatch it again because it has been some years since I've watched it again. Uh, and uh, I did, and it, I was completely taken. I was completely invested in the story again. I absolutely love *Chariots of Fire* still. Um, right from the opening, there's this great scene in the church where you see um, the funeral of Harold Abrahams, and uh, then there's this speech from one of his um, fellow runners back in the days, and then it cuts to uh, back in the days where there's this iconic scene at the beach uh, when uh, all the runners are getting ready for the Olympics and there's Vangelis' very famous um, theme uh, doing that scene and I just love that scene even though it's very um, patriotic in, and, and also ki kind of uh, sentimental and, and the movie is very sentimental if you have to sort of say something I wouldn't say negative thing but you you can definitely it's definitely a British movie and it's very patriotic and sentimental but it still is kind of moving even though it, it deals with uh, competitions and sports um, I, I, I I'm still it was I was still quite surprised how much uh, invested I was in the story even though I knew it quite well uh, and I, I sort of uh, looked at how many great actors there is in this. Of course, the two lead actors, I forgot the name of, but those two are great. Uh, they played the, the both individuals very different. So, so, and it's interesting to see how they, they portray the characters. Uh, both are, are from religious backgrounds and religion does play a part uh, during the movie, but they both have a different view on it in some ways. And, uh, and and it's also just interesting to see how they run. They have different run styles, uh, and 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 I really like that sort of way to make the characters. Uh, you know, it it, it makes them uh, stand out as though they are not completely the same uh, type of of uh, people. Uh, yeah, and also it's 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 really and. The, I noticed something, there is many many montage scenes and I forgot how many there was. It's almost like, in a way, it can almost feel sometimes it's like you're watching a music video because Vangelis' music is played or some other songs from, from old times are played and doing their sort of some montage doing their lives, how they exercise, and it's kind of fun to see. Um, and I just noticed that thought about it. It's, it's kind of like a music video, the whole film, but but it's still great. It still have a moving story to tell. So so it's not it's not that it's annoying by any means. 
uh, even though there's a, a bit too much slow motion in, uh, for my taste. I'm, I, I don't really like slow motion that much, but and I, this has a little too much, but it, it, I, I can forgive it because it's still a great, great movie. Um, I also want to um, give some credit to Ian Holm, who plays the mentor for um, Harold Abrahams. Ian Holm is a great actor, but he really, really plays this part very well. And he has this very fun sense of humor about him. And I really like how he plays that, that part. It's really just a great um, movies for actors. All actors are great. The first hour of the movie is pretty much an, an introduction, sort of like uh, you are getting to know the characters and you are seeing them uh, compete with each other. And the uh, second half of the movie is pretty much uh, at the Olympics back in 1924. So there's kind of two, it's kind of two uh, halves really, uh, and two different um, movies essentially. And what I like about it is that even though there is this competition between Harold Abrahams and Eric Little. It's never, it's never really about their rivalry in the end, because in the end they are really much on the same side, you know. And uh, and, and and I really like that because you sort of see many other movies nowadays. If there's a competition, it's they are competing uh, through the movie all the way to the end. And here it 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 um it only is in the beginning and in the end they are on the same side because then they are competing with the americans and all the other competition during the olympic uh, and here i must also say the olympic scenes is absolutely brilliant sorry about the fly by the way that's really annoying uh, but um the the it's the, they are so realistic filmed and I really like how they are. It, it feels so intense and real and and uh, I, I absolutely love the, the scenes during the Olympics. It's very um, fast paced but also some some incredible editing and uh, doing all the the, um, the run scenes. Also during the, oh, the um, beginning of the movie there's also some really great scenes there where they run uh, and I, I absolutely love uh, that the scenes there um so yeah i i i really really i'm still really really surprised by how great this movie is and 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 even though yeah it's sentimental it 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 tries to get it tries to make you feel emotions you know but it, it works and uh, it's really an iconic uh, british movie and uh, I will highly recommend it for everyone if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, that's my opinion of it. Thank you so much for watching this uh, video. Uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about this movie. And uh, sorry about the fly again. That was again very annoying. Uh, I hope you will all have a very nice day. Bye.